In this tutorial, we discuss the information available on Halifax.ca, our municipal website, and the Building and Development Permit pages to better support you in completing online applications. Access to permitting information has been redesigned with enhanced searchability. We've added a lot of information and simplified language for enhanced accessibility and greater transparency around the permitting process. The intention is to empower you to be self-sufficient and less reliant on calling or visiting customer service centers. We have modernized and redesigned the permitting web pages, now referred to as Building and Development Permit Pages. Overall, the information on the website sets the standards for applications, transfers some of the responsibility for meeting these standards to you, and helps you plan for success. It is important to be familiar with our web pages so you can confidently navigate the permitting process and effectively use the customer portal. Building and development permit pages can be accessed in four ways from Halifax.ca. One, using the Home and Property pull-down menu and selecting Building and Development Permits from the list. Two, clicking Online Services and then selecting the Building and Development Permits tile. 3. Searching by keyword. Many keywords have been added. 4. Clicking the Submit a Permit or Subdivision Application icon. All options will lead to the Building and Development Permits page. From the Building and Development Permits page, there is a landing page. From this page, you can 1. Click on Launching Fall 2020 to open a page dedicated to information about the launch of the customer portal. 2. Select Apply for a Permit to learn more about the application process. 3. Select When is a Permit Required to learn more about permits. And 4. Select Permit Fees to learn more about how fees are calculated and what fees are applied to the permits. This page also includes links to the Nova Scotia Building Code regulations, right-of-way information, and a contractor's desk link. The contractor desk will eventually close as the customer portal is established. Clicking Launching Fall 2020 will open a page dedicated to the changes occurring as a result of the modernization project and the implementation of the customer portal. We want you to know we are improving. Some key messages are, we are modernizing to be more accessible and user-friendly. We are empowering our customers by being more transparent about the permitting process and providing easily accessible plain language information on our permitting pages. We are improving accessibility of the web page, And we are going digital, including rolling out an online permitting portal. The external interface of our permitting, planning, licensing, and compliance solution is the Customer Portal. The main part of the page will explain what you can expect as we move to digital. A sidebar contains links to additional information. Using the Apply Online button takes you to the Customer Portal login. Clicking Apply for a Permit from the Building and Development Permits page We'll open an information page where you can access permit guides, read about the different types of permits, review frequently asked questions, FAQs, and understand how permit fees are calculated. We want to make information easy to access and we encourage you to view it before you begin a permit application. The goal of these pages is to empower your self-sufficiency, educate you about the permitting process, and improve your online customer experience by reducing the need for rework on a permit application. For those of you who need a downloadable reference document, permit guides have been created. Permit guides contain diagrams and visual aids. This page also contains information about registering for a customer portal account and access the login page by using the Apply Online button. Permit guides are two-sided. They can be viewed online or printed for later reference. Each permit guide explains when the permit is required 
and briefly describes the types of work the permit covers. Definitions are included, regulations and bylaws are referenced, and, when possible, links are integrated. Sample site and construction plans are found in most of the guides and show minimum requirements, including acceptable construction material. This permit guide example for a swimming pool includes general information about pools, but also contains information about the required fence enclosure and locking mechanisms. This example of a permit guide shows renovations and contains more construction details. This type of work is more complex, therefore the permit guide contains more details about required inspections and building plans and shows examples of detailed floor plans, cross sections, and elevation drawings. These permit guides are intended to be an overview document and we recommend you visit the Building and Development Permit web pages for more detailed information and requirements. From the Building and Development Permits page, selecting when is a permit required, we'll launch a page with specific information about what type of work requires a permit. This page contains much of the same information as the Apply for a Permit page, however, the layout is different to meet the needs of different users. The information here is simplified from National Building Codes and Municipal Bylaws. It is not intended to replace these documents, but simply convey the information in a customer-friendly, easy-to-understand way. Selecting a permit type will open a window with additional information about that permit, such as what type of work requires the permit, what information is required, related permits, and a link to the schedule of fees. If there is a permit guide for the permit type, it will also contain a link to the permit guide. The page also contains links for common projects. Projects are a group of related permits on the same property. For example, a swimming pool requires a fence and commonly deck and lock grading permits. The page also contains a related links section of interesting articles as well as a sidebar of links to other building and development permit pages. In addition to downloadable PDF permit guides, educational content has been expanded to include details about common projects. The project guides group commonly related permits together and present a holistic view of the application to the customer. Project guides walk you through general information and requirements, including the types of documents and inspections required for the whole project as well as the overall fees. Sample documents of required drawings are also included, so you understand what is expected of the application documents before you get into the application step. Fewer surprises while applying equals less delays in processing the application. From the Building and Development Permits page, selecting Permit Fees will open a new page dedicated to fees. By concentrating the fee information in one place, it will be much easier to keep the information current. The fee summary information is presented using plain language so all customers, regardless of their previous permitting or construction experience, can understand. You will be able to select from a list of common fee types to learn more about how they are calculated, when they are applied, and any exceptions that may occur. One of the links available within the Building and Development Permit pages is the Municipal Map Application, MapApp, formerly called the Permitting Application Property Information Finder. The MapApp was custom built by the municipality to show the relevant information you need to know about your property for permitting purposes. Use of this application is optional. The general property information displayed includes, for example, civic address, PID, polling district number, bylaw area, zone with a link for more information about the zone, bylaw web link for zoning with link to more information about bylaw, historic district designation, right-of-way information, and service requirements. You can get to the map app from multiple locations. The main building and development permits page, the Apply for a Permit page, 
and from within the detailed permit pages by clicking the link to Permit Application Property Information. A lot of work has gone into making the Building and Development Permits pages more accessible and more useful. We've added more options for navigating to the permitting pages and enabled more searchable keywords on Halifax.ca. Information about our modernization activities, including the launch of the online customer portal, is available to keep you informed. Modernization includes being more transparent about processes, fees, and permitting. As we go digital, we will be encouraging customers to apply for permits online through the customer portal. To support this transition and encourage self-sufficiency, we are providing you easy-to-understand permit-related information such as fees, permit-specific requirements, building code summaries, building code links, bylaw summaries, and bylaw links.